Welcome to a new tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show how to add RDLC extension in Visual Studio 2022. Okay, let's check the uh, RDLC report and the Visual Studio C Sharp items. Uh, there is no RDLC report extension. There is no RDLC report. RDLC reporting in the Visual Studio C Sharp item. To add, uh, to download and install RDLC report designer as well as report viewer. In that case, go to the tools menu and click on the extension and update and then click on online, charge the RDLC. Okay, this is the Microsoft RDLC report designer. Okay, now click on download. It's downloading. Please wait. Yeah, it's downloaded. Now to change the not to change the should really, we should close the window. Just close, close the Visual Studio also. The installer is ready. Now click on modify. Yes, now close close it. Start the Visual Studio application again. Okay, it's done. Now I'm gonna add RDLC report in this project. So right click on the project in the solution and click on add new item. select RDLC report yes the RDLC report is added in the visual C sharp items okay trust click on trust yes add the text box the text box is added test report okay the RDLC report is added in the solution successfully to display the RDLC report in the Windows Phone application you should add report viewer so now I'm gonna add report viewer from the toolbox so go to the toolbox and go to the reporting section and there is no RDLC report viewer available in this toolbox in that case go to the solution and right click the new project manage new guard package click on manage new guard package yes at the report viewer in the browse section yes report viewer let's check report viewer this package will be installed to your application so install click on install ok accept yes it's installed successfully now go to the toolbox and in the reporting section right click and choose items browse go to your project project is located in the desktop and from application and then open the package microsoft reporting service report viewer control library net 40 and then select the dll file in this form the dll and then click on open and then finally click on ok yes report viewer is added in the reporting section of the toolbox now you can add report viewer in your windows form application okay it's added successfully i can see the report viewer, report viewer also added in the windows form application thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more helpful content like this see you in the next video